Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm sorry about the audio if it's kind of funny. I do not have the microphone that I used for my first ever speed paint and I have to do this via my phone because the other microphone was attached to my now defunct laptop. So yeah. This video is me drawing my character, Bella. She's one of my oldest characters. I've had her at least around 9-10 years. And mainly I drew her because my 10 year friend anniversary, if you'd like to call it that, with the person who owns her husband is coming up, so I wanted to draw her for them. This one was drawn after that because I was in the Bella mood. So, why did I pick Bella out of all the characters to draw for this occasion? Well, Bella, along with her brother, Blake, were the very first characters I used when I was role-playing with their significant other's owner. So, pretty much, they're the reason for that friendship existing. They're the reason the world exists. That one's for more than one reason, actually, because Bella is the mother, grandmother, great grandmother, etc. of a lot of the characters I currently own. And if she's not related by blood, more than likely, at least, one of the characters knows one of her family members. So, she kind of founded this little world of mine. And that makes her really special to me. I was 12 or 13 when I made Bella. So, her backstory has changed a bit over the years. For the better, hopefully. Because the first version of anything is can be good. <laughs> Especially when it's coming from an angsty preteen. No offense past me. But her backstory is as follows. Bella was born in a set of triplets to my characters Blair and Bryce. While Blair was still in the hospital recovering from their birth, someone snuck into the hospital and took the babies while she was asleep. Bryce noticed and followed the person or people and he ultimately got killed trying to get his babies back. With Bryce dead, they were able to sell off the babies. Jinx and Blake, her siblings, were sold off to pretty good homes, but Bella didn't have that luxury. She was bought by a rich couple to be raised by the maids and become a maid and servant as she got older. This meant she had no educational opportunities. She only knew the most basic of basic things and she was treated pretty poorly by the couple. She stayed with them until around her preteen to teenage years when she met Blake. They thought it was weird that they looked a lot alike and Bella ran off with him wanting to escape her home and find a new family. The period after this is kind of fuzzy, but somehow they meet their blood aunt who brings them to their mother and she enrolls them in school. Bella has a difficult time with this because she's way behind all the other kids and is bullied pretty badly for it. But that's how she meets her future sister-in-law. 
she sees Bella getting bullied and comes stands up for the girl. And they become fast friends. She then meets her husband through her now sister-in-law and best friend. And the rest is pretty much history. They get together. They have kids. Their kids have kids. There's just a whole legacy behind this couple. And yeah. That's about as much as I'm able to share right now, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope the audio wasn't too weird. I had to record this on my phone, but it did let me find some new things out about my video editing software, so I'll see if I can use those in the future and make better videos. So I hope you have a nice day and I'll see ya!